Alrighty, uh, we're putting the flex plate on our 350 uh, Blast to the Past truck engine. Uh, we are using flex plate bolts. They are shorter than flywheel bolts. They are 5 a 7 inch long uh, to 3 quarters of an inch long. You do not want to use the flywheel bolts, which are 1 inch long. They are obviously too long. They interfere with the casting on the engine. And I use uh, blue Loctite on the bolts for the flex plate um, because that's, uh, that's what I was taught. So the general rule is, you know, blue Loctite on bolts that you will, will eventually want to take off, but you want a little extra, a little extra uh, security. Red Loctite if you're not afraid of putting some heat on them later, uh, which is pretty much what you're going to have to do to get them out. Um, because red Loctite is more permanent. Uh, green Loctite uh, was you know, generally used in the industrial world that I came from on bearing races, bushings, sleeves, press fit, things that you didn't want to uh, uh, come apart or spin. You know, maybe you had a little bit of extra play in something and you wanted to just have an assurance that it wasn't going to come out or work its way out. So that's kind of the, the three main ones I used, and I used never sees in applications where, you know, obviously I wanted to be able to uh, take something apart um, without galling or balling up the threads, which is real common when you put a steel bolt into aluminum uh, or you put a stainless steel bolt into uh, aluminum. It tends to uh, mess up the aluminum threads which just makes things pretty miserable from a repair standpoint. It's just a lot of extra work. That's kind of my rules. Um, they've served me well. Safety wire when you can't use any thread locker uh, or you absolutely positively need to be assured that that bolt only comes out when it, it is a pers purposeful sort of activity, which is why you see them a lot on uh, race cars and aircraft. Uh, they just simply, and you know, they, they, they hold oil possibly, or, you know, losing them would create an oil spill, which is bad, obviously. So, um, what we're doing here is we're going to torque these to 65 pound feet, and I'm going to start off torquing them to 30, uh, mostly because I just don't like to crank on uh, bolts unevenly. And, and create kind of an uneven surface to torque something down to. So there's 30. And I'll skip every other one. There's one. There's two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop it from turning, so that's what I'll do. I'll prevent it from turning and I'll torque those to 65 pound-feet. And then uh, we'll put this engine in. <laughs> 